spring has officially sprung at Trader Joe's. I spent $143.97 at Trader Joe's on new items and returning spring items, which I'm really excited to show you. I'm Natasha with Natasha's List. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. I go to Trader Joe's every single week helping you shop at Trader Joe's. So let's jump in, see what I got. And I'm so excited to sample something. It's in the freezer and I'm gonna go get it out right now. Okay, first things first, order of operations. Brand new at Trader Joe's. Brand spanking new. Let's ship these things over so we can see everything that's going on. This is the new Dolce de Leche ice cream. Yes, I said that correctly. Dolce de Leche ice cream, caramel flavored ice cream with a smooth milk caramel swirl. So if you've been on my channel for a long time, you know I always forget to open ice cream first. And, oh, I thought I would see a swirl. This is the top of it. And now, oh, that's just beautiful. Mm. This, this is the swirl. Oh, this is really good. If you like caramel, ice cream, this is incredible. It's light, it's fluffy. Oh my goodness. It's always hard when I'm like, this week, I'm gonna eat really healthy. And then like, Trader Joe's just came out with Dolce de Leche ice cream, I have to buy it, because it's gonna go away, and then I won't have it. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Ingredients, cream, milk, cane sugar, non-fat milk, ta tapioca syrup, egg yolks, butter, salt, sodium bicarbonate, natural vanilla flavor, pectin, carbine, gour gum. Okay, Trader Joe's does ice cream so well. You know one area that Trader Joe's doesn't do particularly well? The cereal department. I feel like it could be better. That's just me. Okay guys, one more. This is so good. This might be one of the best ice creams they've ever came out with. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna put it back in the freezer too. So, it doesn't know. Maybe the problem is a lot of times I try things and then they're like, they've already gone out of season. Or like, sorry, sometimes I try ice creams and they're like melted. It's not. I want to show off my beautiful flowers. So spring is here, so I got these beautiful tulips. Um, a 10 stem tulip. And these more are like a bright yellow with like a pinkish, orangish color. I just absolutely love them. And then we got these, which are the peony double tulips. So these are peony tulips, so like a hybrid, and these are also like really, really, really pretty. Um, okay, next up I picked up, this isn't new, but it's on the new item rack every week I go to Trader Joe's. It's the Pequant popcorn. Last week we tried opening it upside down to see if it better dispersed. The delicious flavors of nutritional yeast, onion, sea salt, and garlic. Oh my goodness. Sorry, my freezing is not plunging all the way. What a snafu to start this. There was like a tiny thing that was keeping the freezer open and it was gonna like ruin everything in there. So I picked up more popcorn. I'm also sweating profusely, but this is so good. Every week I get it, I say this is the last bag. The popcorn, popcorn. Mm. So good. I should not be eating popcorn. Oh, okay. That's delicious. Let's see what else I got. I picked up some more cheese. This is Old Amsterdam Premium Gouda. Cheese is really high, I believe, in vitamin K. Hope I'm remembering that right. Vitamin D and vitamin K, um, which are really good for you. They are, they help with uh, fighting against cancer, things like that. So if you ever have a reason to why you wanna buy cheese, um, check out the health benefits. I think it's vitamin D and K. You guys can fact check me on that. But I love this Gouda, and I took it to my friend's party this past weekend, and everyone loved it. But it's really, really good, and I didn't realize I got such a big block. This one's huge. It was $9.09, and it's $12.99 a pound. Cheese is not cheap. And then this cheese is back. This is back at Trader Joe's. You guys remember how excited I get about Dorothy's every year? Their Garden Secrets is back. Like, I want to open this, but I also... If you guys, I, I've already sampled and reviewed it. We're just going to sample it again. It's just so cute. It's shaped like a flower. It's Dorothy's. They make the, literally, some of the best cheese I've ever had in my life. I always try to open the cheese so that I can reseal it. Oh, jeez. Reseal it. And I don't want to get anything on it. 
Let's just take out, so the Dorothy's, uh, this one's special because it's garden secret, so it has basil, oregano, and sage. You can put this on a cheese board. You can really use it for, it's just, it's so good. You want a little snack of cheese? So here I cut like a little piece. It's, it's similar to brie and it's got the rind on it that reminds me of brie, but it's not as um, soft. It's definitely a soft cheese, but it's not as soft as brie. Mm. It's so good. It's lightly creamy. I really taste the oregano. What is that? Sage? Oregano, sage, and yeah, basil. Oregano stands out the most to me and then basil. But this is the Dorothy's cheese. If you ever see it, it looks like this. And yes, you can eat the rind. Okay. So, so good. Really starting this haul off with a lot of dairy. I'm gonna have to reseal that. New items in there. Okay, I have been wanting to try these. These are the spring rolls from Trader Joe's. I haven't been able to find them, but I found finally found them. They have them with shrimp. I got the spring rolls with tofu because I have a bit of a shellfish allergy. So I want to try these. They come in a cash with cashew dipping sauce. And there is a bit of uh, wheat in the, let's see, rice vinegar, the hoisin sauce. So that's where the wheat is. Can you your soy sauce? Yeah. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a uh, couple bites. It's not a main ingredient. But I wanted to try them. I wish they'd make them like with chicken. Oh, let's see. So two rolls per container, 270 calories per container, eight grams of protein per container. Wow, so these are pretty low calorie, very low calorie. And it comes with um, artificial grass that you can save for your Easter baskets. Okay, this is the cashew dipping sauce. I'd like to try that. Don't use that. I'm just mmm, really good, really good. Um, off the bat, this is a little, a little moist. Um, you can kind of see it's coming apart. They use like a, a rice paper. Okay. Honestly. For like a pre-made spring roll, it's not terrible. Um, a, these are easy to eat. This one is kind of falling apart a little bit. They've got like the rice noodles, some fresh herbs, looks like lettuce, and then the tofu. Not bad, not bad. Mm. <laughs> Obviously, a fresh one would be better, but that dipping sauce is fire, and I like the size of these because this is like an easy grab-and-go lunch. You could probably eat this while you're driving, as long as you didn't get the one that was falling apart. I'm going to end up having that for lunch when I'm done filming this. Um, I picked up some more of my favorite Aspirilla Cherry Juice Shots, half a day, lots of vitamin C, great for making collagen in your skin. Oh, this... I just haven't bought it in a while, and it's just a friendly reminder. This is such a good deal at Trader Joe's. This is the organic cold-pressed green juice. And they've got another green juice here, but the reason I like this one, a lot of green juices put a lot of sugar, so you're like, while you think you're getting like a really healthy beverage, there's like 18 grams of sugar. But this only has four grams of sugar um, per serving. There's four servings in here. And the sugar, it looks like it's coming from the grapefruit juice. And that's it because there's no added sugar it's just straight from the fruit juice itself let's have it let's have a sip really balance out the experience and it's cold pressed cold pressed juices are like the next best thing from a fresh squeezed juice um it helps maintain our nutritional profile it's good and it has mint tea in it too so it's got like a you don't really taste the mint. You taste more of the, it just tastes like a green juice. It's not gross at all. It's not very sweet, which I like. Um, it has cucumber, celery, grapefruit, green leaf lettuce, chard, a wedge of lemon, kale, 
spinach, six sprigs of sparsley, and one teaspoon mint tea. That's probably why I don't taste the mint tea. One teaspoon? Hmm. Such an odd ratio of things. And a teaspoon of mint tea. Organic romaine hearts. These are great. They stay forever in the fridge. Um, I just used the last one the other night, and I had it for three weeks. So they're great. They really, really, really last. You can also put like a romaine if you cut it. Say you use it and you cut it right here, you can put this in a little bit of water and it'll grow again, which is really fun. I've definitely done that, but then I just I don't do it all the time because then you have to have like a romaine area in your house. Rice cauliflower, cauliflower rice, love to make that. I picked up oven roasted chicken breast. Oven roasted chicken breast. I like to put that inside of my tortillas with a little bit of your Allsburg cheese and it's a really, really good snack. So I'll do like, I'll heat up a tortilla, one of these. Gluten-free quinoa tortillas, really, really good once they're heated. And then I'll melt a little bit of the Jarlsberg cheese on half of it. And then I put some turkey slices and then I fold it. And it's like a little tiny snack. It's so good. Keeps me satiated. And then guaca salsa. This tomatillo salsa jumps into guaca, guacamole. This is really good for tacos or anything. Dip anything in it. It's so good. It's got, it's like, not as thick as guacamole, so it's it's more like salsa verde mixed with guacamole, so it's like a liquidy guacamole, but it's really, really good. You can put it on salads, you can put it um, on like tacos or like inside a burrito, however you want to do it, but it's good. I've been buying a lot of that. And then vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. I picked up kelp noodles from the co-op yesterday, and I love kelp noodles. They're so good. I'm like addicted to them. And then I'll put the pesto all over them, and that's how I'll eat them. I discovered that at Air One, but it was so expensive. It was like $13 for like a side. And I was like, wait, I can make this for like a fraction of a fraction of the price. Um, almond beverage, unsweetened vanilla. This is the non-perishable one. I like have it as a backup. Somehow I got off my almond milk schedule, so usually it would be like one full week. I would have to buy a new per perishable almond milk, and then... Somehow I'm off, so I still have like half left, but it's like that awkward amount that I'm still, I'm gonna run out of milk by the end of the week. So I got this one. Hopefully it'll reset me. Picked up a lemon. And then I also picked up a rainbow trout. Kind of having a craving for it again. I go through phases with this rainbow trout and I'm back in it. It's really, really good. It's got like a salty, smoky flavor. Um, 14 grams of protein per serving and there's four grams of serving. So a ton of protein in here. It is a bit higher in sodium, 580 milligrams of sodium um, per serving, but it's so good. It's so good. It's such a good snack. Not that bad. Um, brand new, Trader Joe's, this is uh, the Candle Trio. Candle Trio, these are lead-free cotton wick, soy, wax, coconut oil, and beeswax blend. 10 hours of burn time. And the smell, so we have raspberry and roses. Let's Let's, something smells really good in here. It might be the raspberry. This is raspberry and roses. Okay, that smells nice. It's a bit fruity smelling, but it smells good. It reminds me of um, a candle at Anthropology. If you've ever been to Anthropology and find the candle section. Okay, this is rhubarb and bamboo. So, Raspberry and roses is like sweeter, more fruity. This is, this one's nice. I like the smell. I would definitely put this in like a bathroom. It's ref, it's like a fresh, ref, refreshing scent. Like I bamboo, I don't really know what that should smell like, but rhubarb is like, it's like a cleaner, fresher scent. It smells kind of like clean laundry. Really nice. I like that one. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got lemon verbena. Never go wrong with a lemon verbena. Very lemony, actually less verbena than I was expecting. This one's still good though, lemon verbena, okay. Candle Trio for spring, super fun. Uh, let's see, I picked up some Go Macro bars, woo! Love those, and then dark chocolate sunflower seed buttercups. I got these because I was thinking about how I would want to sample this while I'm hanging out with you guys. So I'm gonna sample it. I've had it before, but I just have to do quality checks with some of my favorite items all the time. Mm. 
Sunflower butter is great because if you're allergic to peanut butter, like I am, it's such a close substitute. And dark chocolate's delicious. Mm, so good. Still good. Quality check approved. You guys can still go buy those. It was in the checkout line. How many times do you guys buy the chocolate in the checkout line? Picked up some raspberries. I grabbed some more tomatoes this week. I went through about, I looked through lots of boxes. These are getting a little big, so I'm gonna have to cut them, but there's a lot of the color that I like. It's this color. Some of them were like, that's a normal red tomato color. I'm like, no, Wait, if I hold it up here, maybe you can see it. There's like, this is more of a red tomato color. And then there's this one next to it, which has a little bit more like pink hues in it. They taste different to me, I promise. I should do a blind taste testing of tomatoes and see which one I actually like. Maybe I am being biased, but like order of operations, it's like the ruby, like the, the deeper pinker ones I like, and then the red ones, and then the orange ones, and then the yellow ones. I got more all-purpose disinfectant cleaner because I have a rooftop and I left the one from last week up there and that's where that's gonna live and then this one's gonna live down here but i really like it it smells nice cleans everything you want cilantro for the cauliflower lime rice and then i picked up some sweet potatoes peel them cut them up air fry them avocado oil a little sea salt delicious oh this is brand new we're gonna try this this is the rolled oats I get a little spoon. So overnight oats, but strawberry. Overnight oats, strawberry. This is brand new. I don't know why they got rid of the almond butter one. I really like that. Rolled oats soaked in coconut beverage. So this has 36 grams of carbs, eight grams of sugar, but there's zero added sugar. And the sugar is coming from lots of strawberry in here. We've got coconut beverage, rolled oats, strawberry puree which is strawberries and apple juice concentrate and then strawberry puree concentrate and then strawberry juice concentrate and salt so let's let's try this it's not looking too delicious it's a bit runny the almond butter one wasn't this runny it doesn't smell like strawberries It's really sweet um i'm not sure if i'm i'm not gathering like a strong strawberry flavor and from it but i feel like i should because they added so much it's really good do you know what it kind of tastes like do you remember when froyo was like new and ever like lines you go to like menchies or any of those froyo places and there's that vanilla flavor, which was like original, but it wasn't, it wasn't vanilla. It was just original tart. That's what this reminds me of. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, oh yeah, that's strawberry. It's really good. It just doesn't taste like strawberry. Like it's that same addicting thing as the Froyo. We used to laugh about it in college. We're like, we don't know if we like it or we hate it, but we can't stop eating it. A couple avocados two lines Ooh. and then this is back for all you foaming hand lovers sweet basil foaming hand soap is back I love this stuff I keep it in the kitchen and then I picked up a purple onion and I'm going to make pickled onions out of this like the easy recipe which I have to read because I already forgot it even though it's super easy it's like boiling water salt I have to look at it um, and then I got three bottles of Garrel Steiner. They still don't have my favorite green bottle back. I bet if I went to a different Trader Joe's, I'd be able to find it. It's just the one I've been going to. Sometimes it's lacking. Um, and then there are several new items at Trader Joe's, so be sure to check out my Instagram. Um, there's some new items in the bake section that I did not buy because they are so full of gluten, but they look delicious. So make sure if you're watching this, you check out my Instagram later today. I will make a reel. You can see all those new items. And then... Let me know what's your favorite new items. Um, there's also 
these new mini chocolate chip croissants that I did not see in my Trader Joe's, but hopefully they're there next week. Um, those look really cute. And I like the idea of a bite-sized chocolate chip croissant because sometimes croissants are like quite big. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.